Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the course, How to Use Zebra HC. This is video 30, and today we're talking about the arpeggiator and the sequencer. So the most important thing is how to turn it on. Let's go to a new preset, and in the global effects tab, where it says voice, let's select poly, and let's go to the arpeggiator, and navigate to the arp control panel, and press a note. So it's working, but right now it's bouncing between octaves. So down here at the bottom, where it says octave, where it says one, let's go to zero here. So we just have a pulse. So we have a total of 16 steps here. We can see that through this number here, 16. We can left click this here, change the step amount that we'd like. We can scroll through this list here if we want to do that, or we can select these numbers here at the top. As you can see, they kind of highlight wherever this value is locked in. So for now, let's go to eight. It's probably the quickest to just select this here if you'd like to. So let's go through eight. It's just going to repeat. So the first thing here, we have steps, right? So we have next, same, first, and last. Now this is telling us whatever chord that we're gonna be playing, is it gonna be playing the next note? Is it gonna be playing the same note, the first note, or the last note? So on step four, let's say, play the same note, and let's play a chord here. And we can do the same thing on fives, play the same note again. And so on and so forth. So let's go back to next on all of these here. And now we have length. So this is actually changing the step length based on our sync value, which right now it's one over four. So let's go to number three and make this really long. So the higher the number, the longer the step is gonna be. Which is pretty exaggerated here, but I do kinda wanna show you what this is actually doing. Let's go back to one here, and now we have gate length. So basically this is gonna be the length of the note, but not changing the step length, if that makes any sense here. So right now it's all even pulses, and the, the steps happen at the same time, every time, right? They're all the same length. However, within that step, we can make the notes a little bit shorter or a little bit longer. So in this case, let's make this four here. and make this in four as well, and maybe increase the speed a little bit with some drums so we can kind of get a feel of the rhythm. And then we can go all the way down to zero, but this isn't actually silence, it's just a very, very quick pulse of sound. So if we go back to one over four and kind of take a listen, Just a tiny, tiny little pulse there here. So let's bring these back to two and put this one, maybe step four, let's go to five here. So once it's on five, this is gonna be a tie note, right? So it's gonna hold this note until the next step. And if we want to do some interesting slide stuff, we can always select the slide here, go to our global effects tab and increase our glide over here. Something kind of kind of crazy like that, right? And go back to our ARP and kind of watch what happens here once it gets to this note here as we play a chord. We have a little slide there once it's on five, which is actually really cool. And if we do a little bit faster here, so it's kind of a little bit more musical. So very cool doing that little slide thing. Let's turn that off for now, turn the glide off, go back to our control here and select this back to two so we are back at default. And then maybe one over four. So the next thing we have here is going to be voices, right? So this is gonna be how many voices that step is gonna play, right? So let's say for example, we have this on zero, what do you think is gonna happen? You are right, nothing's gonna play. It's gonna be silence. But that's not all, there's more. Let's say, let's put this back to one here, and let's say on step five, let's play, or let's select three, and let's select a three note chord and see what happens. So basically what's happening there is we're actually able to play a chord while we are using and ARP the whole time. So it's kind of an interesting concept, right? You can have a couple of different notes doing the ARP thing and once it hits on a certain step and you have maybe five notes that you wanna play, something like that, you can select five and it's gonna play all those five notes that you have held at the same time, which is a really cool concept there. Let's maybe do four here.
yeah, so really awesome there. It's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty sweet uh, arpeggiator in this synthesizer. So let's go back to one here. So every note's going to play one note here. Now below this here, we have transpose, which is pretty self-explanatory, right? If you want to do something more sequency, right? And you want to kind of program in your notes, you can do that here. We have a range from negative 12 to positive 12, right? So let's go maybe one over eight, something like this, and maybe make a quick sequence. Yeah, so very cool there. So we can always double click or open up the list with a click here and reset these back to zero if we'd like to, or we can do a new preset. It really depends on you. So one of the last couple things that we do need to talk about here is some of these menu stuff down over here, because we already covered the ARP in the or the ARP control modulation stuff here in a previous video. So we're gonna skip over that for now. So we have a loop, right? So we have a couple different options. So this F forward is gonna play it forwards. This one is gonna be backwards. This one's gonna be forward and backwards. And this one down here is gonna be backwards and forwards. So kind of self-explanatory. Then we have our sync values here, which we have a lot to choose from. And then we have order by note or as played. So basically by note, notes are played or played back according to the MIDI note number. And then as played, notes are played back as they were pressed. So yeah, as played. Then we have our octaves, what we turned on off before, but sometimes I kind of do like having it one or something like that. Cause it's kind of a cool rhythm thing. If we add some extra sound here, maybe increase the width here and change the tuning. We can make something actually pretty cool here. So let's go back to an in-app preset and turn this on. This is a really cool trick that I saw in the uh, in the manual here. So let's go to the arpeggiator here and let's go to our piano roll and maybe let's add some chords here, something like this. We need to add a five note chord. So one, two, three, four, maybe five, something, something like that. So we're gonna be playing something like this. If we turn this off here real quick and kind of preview this. That's what we're gonna be playing. So maybe move this up an octave here. Okay, so that's gonna be the chord that we're gonna be playing here. So putting this back to arpeggiator here, the manual says if you want a 24 note sequence, we need to have three steps. So we'll click over here to three. We have three steps in this arp. We have a five note chord, which we just did, and we set the octave to two right over here and see what happens. play this with the drums here. But yeah, it's a lot of fun playing with something like this here. We can always increase the speed here to maybe one over 16, something like that. Yeah, but the ARP is a lot of fun to play. Thank you. 
But yeah, I'll leave the fun to you. Hopefully you learned something in this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.